Former Honolulu City Council Chair Ikaika Anderson pleaded not guilty today to abusing his ex-girlfriend. Anderson is charged with abuse of a family or household member and unlawful imprisonment. Sources close to the investigation told KITV4 Anderson and the woman were dating for about a year, and the two were arguing earlier this month in a Wilmert Oahu parking lot. The woman claims Anderson got out of the car, grabbed her by the arms, pulled her out, and allegedly bruised her. Anderson today requested a jury trial. He's scheduled to be back in court on June 27th. Anderson remains free for now after posting a $1,000 bond. Anderson's attorney, Thomas Otake, released a statement saying, quote, Ikaika is innocent and therefore entered a plea of not guilty today. I'm confident that he will not be convicted of these charges, and I ask that the public allow the court process to play out before passing judgment. Honolulu police say a man who pulled out a machete during a road rage incident is still on the loose. Take a look at this video. You can clearly see the suspect there. Police need your help finding him. This video was taken last Friday at around 8.20 at night on Wilikina Drive and Kamananui Road near Schofield. Police say the man assaulted the victim with a machete and then drove off. He was wearing a baseball-style cap, glasses, and a neon green shirt there. Police say he was driving a black Toyota pickup truck with the license plate RNF572. And if you recognize him, you ask to contact HPD at the number on your screen. Well, if you were driving on the H1 freeway or near it in Makiki earlier today, you might have seen this or even gotten stuck in traffic because of it. Some people saw it from below the freeway on Lunalilo Street, while others saw it from miles away. Another picture sent into our newsroom shows where the fire started. You can see some of the scorched brush near a bridge. The Honolulu Fire Department reports the small brush fire started around 2.10 this afternoon underneath the Alapai Street pedestrian overpass. There's no word yet on what caused the blaze. Another monk seal has been found dead on Oahu. The seal known as Ho'omau Lehua was found yesterday on the North Shore. She was just over three months old. Noah says it's conducting a post-mortem examination to determine the cause of death. Just last week, Noah announced another monk seal named Malama was killed a few months ago due to blunt force trauma. If you have any information about either of these deaths, call Noah's enforcement hotline at the number on your screen.